Good evening everyone, welcome to a new little vlog. And as you've seen by the title, we are gonna go and visit a buffet restaurant. It is very, very popular. A lot of people ask us about it all the time. And in my opinion, it is probably the best buffet in Tenerife, in my opinion. Uh, so I'm gonna show you why, go through the reasons why as well. It's just reopened tonight. Um, so we're gonna head in, have some dinner. We've been working, we've just finished three airport runs in a row. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go in, enjoy some food. We have filmed this restaurant before live, which is on the channel. I'll put the link in the description. This is gonna be an edited one, obviously. I'll show you a little bit more detail, a little bit more about how it works. And uh, yeah, let's uh, head in, stuff ourselves, and uh, do a little bit of a review. Let's stride on. So we are in, we've ordered our drinks and the lady was just saying there that they have um, they did close as a thought, we had a few issues because it was buffet, but now we're in level one, it does make it a little bit more available so they've been able to open up again. So I'm excited to get in there. I'll film it all for you as best as I can. Um, these will be getting added to the Night Strider website as well. If you haven't seen that, make sure you check it out. But uh, we're gonna head in and get cracking with the buffet, Laura. So obviously you do have all the safety distance marked out. You've got your gloves, hand sanitizer, and you do have to wear your mask as well. So I'm gonna film, Laura's gonna put the gloves on, sanitize. So it is very safe, even though it's a buffet, you do have to follow the rules. You've got your chicken and sweet corn soup here and your hot and sour soup. I do like both. I'm gonna go for chicken and sweet corn, please, Laura. Then if you come around, you've got the crusty bread. And you have got in here all your prawn crackers. So that's what I'm gonna start with. I'm gonna start with the soup. Then over here you do have uh, the salad bar, which I'm gonna show you in a bit, um, and some other cooked foods here as well. And uh, then the specialty with this restaurant is you do get to pick your meat here. You've got chicken, pork, beef, various different meats, fish, prawns. Then you pick your uh, noodles or rice and salad whichever you want to put in your dish and then you take it all over to the special mongolian barbecue which i'm going to show you a little bit later on and it is cooked in front of you fresh that's why i think this is the best buffet possibly in the whole of tenerife because of that it is cooked right in front of you very very fresh you take it straight from here over to your table and dig in it is piping hot and it is just that extra freshness and it's a it's good fun watching it be cooked as well at the same time you can pack as many things as you want in the cooking bowl as well so i do like that feature we're going to go with the starters first then laura chicken and sweet corn soup spot on as usual this has been here for many many years i've been here many times on holiday and um, here in los cristianos it's been here for a long time which is why a lot of people know about it. A lot of people have been asking me, when's it opening again? Uh, when can we get back in? So it is very popular. Uh, but chicken and sweet corn soups are starters as always with the prawn crackers. But uh, you don't have to listen to me crunch them this time. So Laura can't have the soup in here because it's not gluten free, but you do normally have a couple of chicken skewers there, Laura, with a few chips from the hot section. So there is various different starters you can have, various, you know, gluten-free, different allergy-friendly things, salads and things as well. My soup was spot on. I would have a second bowl, but I don't want to ruin my mains, which is coming up on that big cooker over there. Nice, Laura. So one other major benefit I'm going to mention now, because we've just had starters and we literally got in here about four or five minutes ago, is it is very, very quick. There's no waiting around for your starter to come or anything. You can get in, once you've got your table, you can get straight in and get eating. So if you do want to eat a bit quicker, um, especially when it's busy out and about, uh, not that the other restaurants aren't worth waiting for, but if you do want to eat a bit quicker or you're limited for time, you are going to eat straight away. You can come in and get straight cracking with your soup and your, like we've already had starters within five minutes of sitting down, your drinks are here. 
uh, service is very fast so I do think that is a big plus for it as well is the speed of it how quick you can come in get your food get cracking with your meal and uh, without any of the waiting around so that is one little plus that I did want to mention that does go towards it being one of the best buffets in Tenerife I know some people will be screaming at the telly now with their favorites so do drop them in the comments what is your favorite buffet in Tenerife I'm sure a lot of you will say here uh, Laura's dad loves it in here. I know you'll be disappointed, Colin. It opened a few weeks after you left. So I've come back in and I'm going to get some of these little bits as another starter now, hot starters. Before we go for the mains on here, I'm going to get a couple of these little hot starters here. Laura's going to get them for me. Um, so you've got spring rolls here. You've got uh, chicken and um, sweet and sour chicken, chips, chicken curry, chicken skewers. I'm going to have uh, a little bit of the rice, please. And I'm going to have um, a little bit of the sweet and sour, please. You've got your crisp, you've got duck over here as well. There's uh, plenty of little hot starters to choose from. But I'm not going to go too mad because I am going to go for the main shortly. Okay, so as always with the buffet, you do end up getting a bit more. I went for a few chips and a couple of spring rolls and a couple of chicken skewers. I couldn't help myself. I don't think I'm gonna be able to eat all this, but that is the problem with the buffets. You do end up going a little bit mad, don't you? <laughs> I'm gonna tuck in your spring rolls. I just come out the fryer as well. They were super fresh. Well, the spring roll was delicious. I have eaten all of that, which is probably the same portion as a full tea. But, you know, starter, <laughs> going all out. Uh, we are now going to move on to the uh, the main course where I'm going to pick the, I'm going to go for chicken. So you pick your meat, you pick noodles or rice or whichever you want. You can add your veggies. So a little bit like noodle box. And then you take it over, you pick your sauce. They've got spicy ones, they've got sweet salty ones, ones salty ones and then they cook it all on the uh, mongolian barbecue there in front of you which i'm going to film for you so for the mains you're going to grab two bowls one for your meat and one for all your uh, noodles and things so i've got two bowls here i'm going to go for chicken please i've got a choice of all these different meats here so i'm going to go for chicken and you can pick your amounts as well which is nice if you're not too hungry or if you want loads, uh, that should probably be enough chicken for me, I think. And then with your second bowl, you can add your veggies if you want. And then you can go for your noodles, rice noodles. I think I'm going to go for rice uh, today. Desserts over there, that's coming a bit later. <laughs> um, Laura's going to add all of her veggies now. Yeah. So, Bit of bean sprouts going in. A bit of mm, What's that? Pack choy. Okay. Green pepper. Green pepper. Laura's a big green pepper fan, but not a red pepper fan. Some carrots. Bamboo shoots, that is, that is bamboo there. Bit of bamboo in there. Cabbage. There's a lot of veggies, that Laura. I'm going to go for my rice, yeah, just my rice. I don't know what sauce I'm going to go for yet, but uh, we will find out. So here's all your noodles and your rice and things over here. So we're just going to wait and then uh, we'll fill our bowls. Now, because Laura is gluten free and she's got an allergy, this is another good thing. Uh, they will be cooking Laura's separately in the kitchen here. 
rather than on the Mongolian hot plate because they cook multiple dishes at the same time on there. So you can get contamination if, you're, if you've got allergies. So Laura's will be cooked in the kitchen here on the back, uh, which is good. It's good for your allergies. Very good, yeah. Okay, so I've gone for the yellow curry. You can see all the different sauces here with the different levels of spice as well. I've gone for this one here. It's not high spice. But this, I've had the satay before and the teriyaki was very nice as well. And there uh, we get to watch it be cooked on here as well. So all sat down now with my uh, chicken curry and rice, basically. Uh, Laura's uh, noodles, not noodles, rice there as well. Uh, beauty of that is you can go up as many times as you want. If you wanted to have a bit of this, then you want to go up and try the teriyaki sauce, or you want to try different meats with different sauces. You can go up as many times as you want. It is all you can eat. So you can visit as many times as you want to. As it does state on the sign over there though, you cannot take any of the buffet food away. Uh, obviously but if you do want to go up and try you no know, just a little portion of this and a little portion of that you can do I've only got I've not gone for a massive portion because I might still go back up to the hot starters in a little bit that is mains all done that was delicious um, I like to keep it nice and simple I have saved room for some desserts they do some amazing profiterole balls here with different sauces there's a caramel sauce there's a chocolate sauce there's ice creams, there's fruits, there's a few different pieces there, but I do like the profiteroles in here. Uh, not, often, not often you get them, so looking forward to them. Um, another big plus of this place, I know I'm really trying to sell it to you here, but I do um, like how big and open it is outside. There's loads of fresh air blowing through, it's nice and cool. You've got a little bit of a view, but you've also got loads of local bars around as well. So just above us, you've got Life Bar, so you could pop up there after dinner or before. You've got the Vault Bar next door. Uh, you've got all your tailors, Casey's, the attic just a bit further up. So you can have got everything right on hand, right around it. So that's my other big plus for it. <laughs> so it's dessert time for Fitterolls. Laura can't have the Fitterolls, can you? Ice cream, ice cream. <laughs> She's still munching away there. You love the chicken skewers in here, don't you? Yeah. Here we go. Right, it's profit of all time.
are just in the beginning of November. Is it too soon, Laura? Got a couple of Christmas decorations up in here. Too soon? Just a smidge. Laura's a big Christmas fan. Seems to get earlier and earlier every year, the Christmas decorations. Laura's got a few ice creams there. She's gonna add some sauce on as well. Gluten free. Well, for rolls, way too nice. I went for half chocolate, half caramel. Gorgeous. Like still like frozen ice cream in the middle of them. Rather than like cream, it's more like an ice cream in the middle of them. I might have to go up for a second plate, I think. Calling me. Not often you do all you can eat dessert. Naughty though, naughty. And it is very busy in here. They, they open tonight. We open tonight out of the blue. No warning, and it is full in here now. Very busy. I think there's two spare tables, and it's a big restaurant, so great to see it busy straight away. So that is us all done at the Mongolian. It goes dark much quicker here uh, now that they've uh, changed the clocks. Uh, lovely meal in there. The total bill was 29. They did give me a little 10% uh, discount. I did try and get a discount for you guys as well, but it obviously is already very cheap. Um, but they will give you a free shot. So that will be going on the Night Strider website. They will give you a free shot uh, at the end of the meal. Uh, so do make sure you mention uh, Night Strider when you go in. But it is very, very cheap in there. Total bill was 29. Uh, that was with a little 10% off. Um, very, very cheap for the amount you could sit and eat in there all day long. I can't. I didn't go back for more profiteroles. I was done. Uh, but you can sit in there all night long if you want to. They've got all the wines there, everything. So yeah, pretty spot on. Loads of people ask me about it. When is it opening again? Why is it closed? What's going on with it? They're back open. It was very busy in there. For, they just opened tonight out of the blue and it was already full in there. So in my opinion, one of, if not the best um, buffets in Tenerife, especially with the freshness, the way they cook it in front of you. Would you agree with that? Yeah. 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 We oh, don't, it's a we, family favourite for us. Yeah, Laura's family love it. We've been going there for many years as well as a family uh, over the years, over the holidays and things. And I know a lot of you guys love it in there. So do drop your comments if this is your favourite. And if it's not, where is? Uh, do drop in the comments. Make sure you like the video. Subscribe as well if you are new. There's loads of different restaurants, different videos on the channel in Tenerife uh, in particular. So yeah, make sure you hit the subscribe. Make sure you go and check out the Night Strider website as well. You've got loads of restaurants on there in the recommendations. You've got various discounts as well, little freebies and things here and there. And uh, make sure you follow me on Instagram, Facebook, follow Laura on Instagram. Yeah. That's going to be it. We're uh, off home now. It's uh, back to back to work, back to bed, work, work again in the morning. I never had a day off. I need a day off. No days off. Uh, but thank you very much for watching. It is back open, back with a bit of a bang. They are busy in there. So go and get yourself in and uh, stride on. We will see you very soon. Bye, guys. Bye.